because he's going to be there for sale to play the damn refreshments. But you want to see that match? Yeah. Okay, so our first combatant is the ring. He's the Triller, Dan Maloney. Welcome back to WrestleForce TV, ladies and gentlemen. We are back in Whitham Public Hall, one of the most gorgeous wrestling venues in the country. A storied history of wrestling in this venue and making his way to the ring now is someone who is at the very top of their game, at the very top of the UK wrestling scene, Driller Dan Maloney. And Dan Maloney quickly making himself an enemy of the people here in Whitton, but you can see him throwing up the crowns there, the newest member of the United Empire. And making his way to the ring now, a former WrestleForce international champion, a man who is the personification of true grit. And there he is now, Connor Mills, one of South London's finest. Connor Mills over the last three years, in the last year especially, has upped his intensity, upped his training. 1-0 in mixed martial arts as well. Both these men, incredibly aggressive, incredibly hard. This one is going to blow the roof off of this place. Okay, so. Right, I was just being informed by Dan Maloney. If you think happy in Colin Mills when he gets in the ring, he's going to just go back to Bourbon and have one of the rules. Dan Maloney certainly in a mood tonight. Threatening to head all the way back to the 0121. not run yet the match has not started but if Dan Maloney doesn't get into the ring he will forfeit this match Dan Maloney always up for a fight is he maybe is he maybe scared of Connor Mills is that what we're seeing is Connor Mills maybe the chink in Dan Maloney's armor And Connor Mills now inviting him in, saying, come on, let's get this match started. These people in Whitton want to see a fight. And I need something to commentate on or I don't get paid. Dan Maloney finally in the ring. Both feet touch the mat, the bell rings, but immediately Dan Maloney exits the ring. Referee David Harold begins the count.
And Connor Mills, the grin on his face. He's raring to get going. Dan Maloney back in the ring and he's on the ropes now. Dan Maloney, a veteran of the squared circle. Using every trick in the book to delay the start of the match. And now taking it to Connor Mills early, side headlock takeover. Expertly applied referee David Howard in position to check the shoulders. A lot of biting going on tonight here in Whitton. What has gotten into our roster? Connor Mills now cinching the wrist. Both men to their feet. Connor Mills pushes Dan Maloney off. Oh, and he turns around right into a shoulder tackle. Mills right back up. Dan Maloney grabs him by the hair, pulls him down. Connor Mills tries to trip him up, jumps over Dan Maloney. Oh, and an arm drag. And he holds on. Dan Maloney flipped over. Connor Mills grabbed the arm. He's now got it barred. He's now twisting that shoulder socket. Dan Maloney, a documented history of shoulder problems. Very wise to go after it. And again, you see Dan Maloney grabbing at the hair, backing him into the corner. He has till five to let go. Sends Connor Mills into the corner. Connor Mills up and over. Lands on his feet. And again! Connor Mills for the second time in this contest. Arm dragging Dan Maloney, pulling him down to the canvas, maintaining a grip. The phrase hybrid athlete gets thrown around a lot these days, but Connor Mills combines excellent mat wrestling, technical ability, speed, strength, power. He's comfortable on the top rope. However, all those things can be said about the driller Dan Maloney as well. Oh, and Dan Maloney there, pulling up the leg, driving him ribs first into the edge of the ring. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, the edge of that ring is a solid steel beam that meets the wood. And he's just dropped Connor Mills back first onto that aforementioned steel. That is the absolute worst place in the ring you can land. And now, Connor Mills has been dragged to the back of the hall. It's out of my field of view. I'll do my best to commentate. And Dan Maloney, threatening to kick a child is a new low here in WrestleForce. And Dan Maloney now, I think he's looking for a count out win. Dan Maloney trying to have an easy night here in Whittam. He wants to take that count out victory and then head back to Birmingham. Our referee's up to a count of seven. Connor Mills is going to have to make a mad dash. And in the nick of time, in the nick of time, Connor Mills makes it back in. At 9.9, .9, he makes it back in, but he's immediately met by punishment from Dan Maloney. And Dan Maloney there, illegally using the ropes for leverage. Referee David Howell again right in there. And Connor Mills now finds himself on the back foot. When Dan Maloney is in a bad mood, he likes to inflict as much punishment on his opponents as possible. And you can see there, just going straight for the jugular, straight for the throat. Dan Maloney really at risk of being disqualified here, biting, pulling at the hair, using the ropes. But again, Dan Maloney knows what he's doing. He knows exactly when to stop. He takes it right to the edge, right to the point of the DQ, and then reels back. And Connor Mills fighting back now. This is that true grit that we were talking about earlier. Connor Mills sent into the turnbuckles with authority. Only gets the two count. And it's this aggression, which is why Dan Maloney was invited into and inducted into the United Empire 
in New Japan Pro Wrestling, headed up by the assassin Will Ospreay. Dan Maloney, the driller, all driller, no filler. As aggressive as they come, as strong as they come. And just a straight right to the chin of Connor Mills. Dan Maloney, he's barely broken a sweat. That's the conditioning of these two athletes. They push themselves to the absolute limits in the gym and in the ring. And the end result is some of the most top quality, incredible professional wrestling you can see anywhere in the world. These people in Whittam are seeing it up close and you lovely people on WrestleForce TV are getting to see it for free, an absolute treat. If you're not already subscribed to WrestleForce TV, what are you waiting for? This is the kind of world-class wrestling we are uploading on a weekly basis. And a big boot, Connor Mills, True Grit, he fights it off. Dan Maloney can't believe it. Connor Mills fires back, leaping forearm. Both men down on the canvas. Is that the opening Connor Mills needed? Can he take advantage? He's been punished so far. He's gonna need to dig deep. He can't let Dan Maloney build any more steam. He kips up to his feet. <laughs> Running European uppercut. <laughs> Kipping up off the turnbuckle for momentum. And he's met by a super kick. A super kick from Dan Maloney. Connor Mills rebounds off. Shades of Nigel McGuinness. Oh, and Dan Maloney kicks out at two. Connor Mills almost took his head off with that rebound lariat. It was made famous by his idol, Nigel McGuinness. And Connor Mills now looking to go to the top rope. I mentioned earlier how comfortable he is up there. And Dan Maloney is in the drop zone. for a diving footstop. Dan Maloney moved out the way. Big boot, Connor Mills rebounds again. Dan Maloney, go, go, go. Almost cut Connor Mills in half with that gore. A move he adopted from Rhino back in 2019. But it doesn't get the job done. Connor Mills digs deep and kicks out. And the crowd here in Whitton telling Dan Maloney it was only two. You're going to have to do more than that to put away true grit Connor Mills. And Dan Maloney now is looking for his signature manoeuvre. Crowns up. Shout out to the United Empire. He looks for the driller. Connor Mills slid down the back. Oh, and a low blow there, but our referee didn't see it. It was out of the referee's field of vision. Dan Maloney was blocking the view. He hits the gore for a second time. Oh my goodness, Connor Mills kicks out again. Two gores, a low blow, and it still can't put away the former WrestleForce International Champion. And Dan Maloney, again, he's looking for the driller. He hoists him up. And again, Connor Mills looks for a way out. Sunset flip, he's looking for that double leg Nelson. And the referee has had enough of Dan Maloney's shenanigans. He gets it, he gets the win, he gets the win. Connor Mills is victorious. Victorious there. Dan Maloney can't believe it. What an incredible match, mate, ladies and gentlemen. If you aren't already subscribed to WrestleForce TV, what are you waiting for? Please like, comment, and subscribe.